So as your next trip approaches, everyone, us included, starts to plan for what they're gonna do while they're there. And of course, the first thing you think of are what are the major attractions? What are the things we absolutely have to see, right? If you're going to Paris, you're gonna see the Eiffel Tower, that kind of thing. If you're coming to Toronto, you're gonna to wanna to see the CN Tower. You're gonna to wanna to go to Niagara Falls, right? There are the obvious attractions that you've gotta see. Then there are the specific things to wherever it is you're going. So if you're going to the Caribbean, you know you're gonna be doing beaches, right? If you're going up north to Alaska, you're like, we're gonna be seeing some glaciers and things like that yeah. that are dressed warm, whatever, right? There, there are a number of things that are specific to where you're going. But something that Amy and I always plan for, and it kind of goes hand in hand with our why we buy it theme, <laughs> is the shopping. Because no matter where we go, there's always something you can buy there that you can get at a discount in comparison to finding it here. And there are specific things that are available in specific places that you can't really get in Toronto unless you want to play a premium. Yeah, so for example, we, we last year we did, went to uh, South America and we went to Buenos Aires and when, you know, my research guy did <laughs> did his homework, <laughs> we, we saw that, okay, they're, they're known for their beef and their leather goods. Now, I can't take any beef home, <laughs> so... But we can bring leather back. we can bring leather back. <laughs> so the one thing we both did was we bought shoes. Right? They just happened to be matching. That wasn't planned. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, like what? Are my shoes? I think cost thirty dollars. Yeah, mine were thirty-five. Right, and <laughs> you're not gonna find a single leather piece in Toronto that's gonna be thirty bucks. Especially high, right especially high-end leather. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Yeah, and we were we were actually planning on buying more leather when we were there, but we we're like. Nope, we still have like six more places we have to visit. So that's what we did. Yeah, unfortunately, Buenos Aires was the first stop yeah. <laughs> on our on our cruise. I wish it was the last. We, we, we would have bought more. We would have really. bought more. We would have bought more. Right, but <laughs> we don't do the traditional um, bring home souvenirs, right? If I'm going to bring somebody home a souvenir, I want it to be authentic to where it came from. So, you know, we, we did our video I'm um, saying where to go in Bangkok, and we went to Pattaya. We went to a silk store. So I came home um, with bunch like, of silk with scarves. a bunch of silk scarves for family and friends, right? And they loved it. And I'm not saying a magnet is not a nice gesture, but really, like you you can't you can't wear it out. You can't show it off. You can't do anything like that. A couple things that I'm currently wearing today, right? This is my, what I call my cupcake outfit, <laughs> my, my cupcake dress. It's extremely thin. This is one of the dresses I bought from the Platinum Fashion Mall. So this was like- In Bangkok. In Bangkok, what, like three bucks? <laughs> Something yeah, like that. Yeah, a joke. But I get to show it off. This does not exist here in Toronto. So I, I, get to, I get to stand out, which I love to do, right? The other thing I'm wearing is my, my earrings, which are little tiny little like butterfly earrings that I got in Uruguay at a farmer's market. Yeah, it was an antique market actually. Yeah. And what's nice about that is many people have already complimented Amy on those earling, earrings and they ask her, you know, where can you get them? You can't. You can't. Right? No. It's, it's having that little piece that's specific to you, original yeah. to you, and it's got a story behind it because yeah, we went to a little antique market in Montevideo, Uruguay yeah. and found these very interesting earrings. And I was like, they're so different. I had, I had to have them, right? The next thing is my necklace is the, um, what do you call it? It's the Northern Lights. And you know, we were in Alaska. So Northern Lights, Alaska, come on. It's like, they go hand in hand. I had to bring something like that home. Like that's... And again, they sell it everywhere when yeah. you're up in Alaska. So there's a lot of competition. So you can haggle a bit yeah. and get a pretty and good deal. And get a pretty good deal. And then the, the last thing that I'm currently wearing is my lapis lazuli um, bracelet. I do have a necklace that goes along that with matches. it. That matches. Um, and we got this in Chile and it's... The last place in the world that you can get lapis lazuli. Everywhere yeah. else is mined out. And I mean, you can, you can buy lapis lazuli here. 90% of it is fake, right? It's just colored stones to look like lapis lazuli. Yeah. You can buy real lapis lazuli here, but you pay five times what you'd pay in Chile. So yeah. having that opportunity, it's not like lapis lazuli jewelry was high on Amy's list of no, things, but, but when, when you're gonna be in Chile and you're gonna be able to get a deal on it and you can get the legit, you know, 
the legit product, yeah. why not take advantage? And we like, we love buying things when we're on vacation because it gives me an opportunity to one, wear it again and relive that moment in time on vacation, which is just fantastic. And when I get talking to people and if anyone like knows me, I don't, I don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when I get talking to people, it's like they get so excited that they want to do that trip too. Which, yeah. you know, and then like, and then I hope they do that trip because then I get to talk about it again when they get back. It's, it's, it's a beautiful cycle. There aren't, there aren't many places where we buy traditional souvenirs because no. let's be honest, if you see something that looks interesting and it's a typical souvenir, you bring it home, you might look at it for a month and then it ends up in a drawer somewhere yeah. or forgotten. Or you might, you might hang it, but then it's just, it's just hanging on the wall. Yeah. Right? So like, buying something that you would buy here you would buy at home mm -hmm. only getting it from its place of origin at a deal yeah just makes nothing, it that much more worthwhile nothing beats it nothing right beats so it. i mean for me specifically and for those that are watch enthusiasts right <laughs> i bought this particular watch again we have the video on our channel of the experience yeah. but i bought a wise watch in bangkok at the icon cm mall because wise watches the home of, of their operation is Bangkok, yeah. right? So I got a deal buying it directly from them. And again, I'm, I'm a big watch fan and having an opportunity to actually see these up close and in person, trying them on and find the one that's best for me and buying it from the city that the company's located, it, it's just a huge experience. It's just, it makes it that much more worthwhile and that much more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So like if you're a watch enthusiast like myself, or if you're, into a particular hobby and you're going somewhere that a manufacturer of whatever product it is you're interested in is there taking an hour out of your trip to go visit that that location and maybe picking up an item directly from them it's priceless it's yeah. priceless and that's what traveling is about really yeah. it's about those experiences you can't have at home and the ones that you can relive over and over again yeah. Right. It's it's just there's something so special about that. Right. Don't don't overlook it. It's it's something that we didn't do as often when we first started traveling together. But now we make a point of wherever we go, we're going to make sure we know what to buy there, what to look for there. We've got a trip coming up next year. We're going to Turkey and Greece and Turkey has some very like exquisite and unique jewelry, yep. right? They have jewelers and artisans there that make jewelry that doesn't look like everything else. So Which that's, means I'm coming home with more jewelry. She probably is, <laughs> <laughs> right? But that's something we're gonna definitely want to see while we're yeah. there, right? I mean, like they do they do fantastic tapestries and rugs and such, but that's something you have to have shipped back. Yeah. So I don't think we'll do that. But these are things that you know this trip is. A year away mm -hmm. and we're already looking ahead to seeing you know what's worthwhile to get there and should we put some money aside specifically for that yeah because some places again inexpensive right yeah. you know like yeah. 35 bucks yeah here these shoes are probably a hundred dollars oh probably in, more than that in toronto yeah. right even if you're buying like a cheap brand but this is as authentic leather as it gets let me tell made you made in you argentina wanna, you want to talk authentic leather hers are the next level my <laughs> shoes if it's too hot outside they smell like a farm it smells like there's a cow following amy around because, quite literally you because, can smell the leather yeah they're, they're not properly what do you call it like they're not treated no. they're, they're, they're not made in a factory no. right so like they I, I gotta be careful when i wear these like i can only wear them during like spring or fall and <laughs> winter on a good day because I'm like, nope, if there, if it's, you know, 30 degrees outside, then mm -mm, yeah. mm -mm, I don't want to, where's the I beef? Want, I don't want, where's the beef? I don't want to be that person. <laughs> right. Like, so, I mean, some places, sure, inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Other places, it's going to cost you, yeah. uh, you know, it's going to cost you a yeah. bit. Amy's engagement ring yeah. was purchased in St. Thomas yeah. in the Caribbean because it's a great place to buy jewelry. It's not like a lot of jewelry is made in St. Thomas, no. but it is a stop off point for importers bringing jewelry in from all over the world and it's tax free there. So I wanted to find a colored diamond and St. Thomas is one of the best places to buy them. So that's yeah. where her ring came from. So depending on where you go, there's always something you can find for a deal. And 
like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be made there. It could just be a place where the, the retail rules are in your favor. Right. Right? right. So take full advantage. And even if you haven't found something you specifically want to buy wherever you're going, if you happen to be on a cruise, definitely check out our video on buying luxury goods on a cruise because while you're on ship, you can find some fantastic deals also. That's true. So again, when you're going traveling, make plans to get the most out of your time there, including what you can buy. Yeah. Till next time, definitely tune in to Why We Buy It. Do yourself a solid. Like, subscribe, hit the notification. And tune in to our very next video. Till next time.